morning guys i know i look crazy but i yeah <laughs> um i just wanted to it is 6 22 i'm literally about to go get ready to do my hit workout but i wanted to come in here because i was feeling really like emotional like in a good way though like i just woke up and my first thought was one more week until peak week. I compete in two weeks and I just feel so grateful for everything in my life, for my coach, for my family, for my health, for you know the opportunities that God has given me and will give me. I just feel so grateful and filled with gratitude and no matter what happens like I am just so proud of myself for prepping since January for prepping since quarantine started for prepping when my job was just completely changing and going through training and prepping through a breakup and just completely sticking to my guns and this is why I started bodybuilding because it ingrains in you this discipline and this, you know, this habit of consistency that gets you so far, um, you know, with your self growth. So it's just been amazing. And I wanted to come on here and share that because this week it will probably, I feel like in every video I'm like, this week's gonna be hard. But yeah, honestly, I'm just so grateful. And I'm filled with so much gratitude and happiness and I just, I, I, I know I have no idea what God has in store for me. So I'm going to change now and work out and I see my coach today. I haven't done any physique updates, like real physique updates because I've been kind of been like trying to keep it on the DL, like, you know, but maybe I'll slide in a little something, something. But let me get my crazy looking ass ready <laughs> to train hit. And I'll see you in a bit. So, hit workout, finished. I'm definitely feeling those shreds coming on, but I am going to do my walk now and then get ready to see my coach. Damn. When you're on prep, like, it's literally like you dyed your hair and you can't recognize yourself in the mirror. I keep looking over here because that's where the little camera is. But, yeah, I, every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm shredded. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to get even more shredded as we drop water from my muscles. So, one time for the one time because these ain't going to be here forever. Especially after I eat hella Dominican food. Okay. So I'm gonna go on my walk now. Goodbye. All right, 
right guys, I'm back from my walk. I'm about to have my shake and then I'm gonna go see my coach. So my shake, because I have been low carb, almost no carb, um, is literally just protein powder, one scoop of protein powder and one uh, scoop, uh, I mean scoop, what the hell, uh, one tablespoon of peanut butter, 16 grams weighed. Um, yeah, I'm a little flat right now. And when I say flat, like that in, in scientific language, it means basically like your, your muscles are made mainly of water, carbohydrates, like glycogen, um, you know, other stuff, nutrients, vitamins, minerals, all that fun stuff. So when you deplete it of glycogen, and glycogen is also comes with water, you can look a little like it's like literally just water in your muscles. So yeah, um, that's what refeeds are for because then you get a little bit more carbs and everything kind of together. So anyway, I'm gonna have the shake. My camera's about to die. I'm gonna charge it and I'm gonna go see my coach. One week till peak week. Hey. Oh, and by the way, if you like, hate whey protein like it makes your stomach hurt you hate it or you just don't you want to cut out like full dairy like that but you also hate like plant-based like they just like plant-based protein powders vegan protein powders they just taste chalky and weird try egg white protein this is one ups egg white protein powder and it's hundred percent dairy free it has an amazing amino acid profile which is why you wanna get in protein anyways, for the amino acids. Um, and it only has zero grams of fat and three grams of carbs, but one of them coming from fiber. So dietary fiber. So it is really good, it's super clean. It tastes like whey. So like you get the taste of like that full flavor, but it doesn't hurt your stomach, it doesn't bloat you, uh, it doesn't bloat me. And I bloat for almost everything. And yeah, it's pretty good. So I highly recommend it. Um, I don't have a code or anything, but they usually have sales. And I do use Buff Bunny's code, because that's my girl, Heidi Summers. I love her. So yeah, you can use her code. All right, now I'm going to make my shake. We are here at Coach. Let's go for check-ins. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Last week. Oh, I know. Yeah. Well, that's period two last week. Yeah, I, I gained like. Yeah. You know what's crazy years. too? I used to gain, I think, well, like when I'm in off season, I gain more water weight, like seven. Well, to, no, I, I feel more glycogen and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just left, oh, my hair looks crazy, but I just left where my coach is. It went awesome as always. Um, my weight dropped four pounds from my period and obviously being depleted. Um, I'm so depleted, I'm like so tired. But today is Reefy Day, hey! We get another Reefy and I've had three in the past week. So, um, not in the past week, in the past couple of weeks. So now, get another one. So basically I do, I have two fruit bowls, small fruit bowls from Publix, and then I do 
three meals of three ounces of chicken, six ounces of jasmine rice with two tablespoons of honey. And then I do half a pint of non-dairy ice cream of my choice from Ben & Jerry's. So it's a happy day and I'm excited to show you guys how my body responds after being super depleted and then uh, So I'm gonna drive home now. I have watermelon and I'm gonna devour that. Goodbye.